Hello and welcome to a quick video on using the build tools for Spigot 1.8. Uh, today we're doing this on Linux. So the first thing you need to do is get to the build tools page. I'll put the link in the description. And because we're doing it for Linux, we need to ensure we've got Git and Java and some other extras installed. So the first ones we need are, of course, Git and Java. Apt, you can do apt get install git and that will install git. You might need sudo on the start of that. And for Java you'll need to run the command that matches your version of Linux. So Ubuntu and Debian you'll need this one. CentOS and RHEL and Arch is that one. So let's go to the first one. First thing you'll need to do is download it. So as you can see it says uh, use curl or wget. I use wget. You don't need the dash o. So if we download this, it should only take a second. And uh, assuming that you've already got your terminal open, you want to open for Linux at all times. So because we're doing it on Linux, uh, I'm using SSH, but if you use your terminal application, it should be pretty similar to this. So this should be about done. Here we go. Now what we can do is do ls and you can see it's there. Now run this command here. So copy that in and run it. It should not say anything but it will have done it. They need to just simply run the jar. So it's Java dash jar and then build tools dot jar. So it will start to clone the project and then it should run through it without any errors. So, whoops, I shall return when it's done. And I'm back. So, as you can see, it's just finished now. Quite literally just finished. So, it's outputted two jar files, which you'll be needing. So, I tend to use this one, the spigot one. So, if we go to where it says. So, if we just do ls, we'll see this slot. And cd spigot, without spelling it wrong. Then into spigot dash server I can't spell there we go and then we go into target you should find what you need here so this is the one you'll need so this is a 1.8.3 spigot so it will be in spigot slash spigot dash server slash target this should be the same for windows as well Thank you for watching and if you ever need any help, remember you can look on the build tools under the common issues and concerns where it's got most ways of solving the common issues. And of course if you need support you can jump on the Spigot IRC where the staff and other users will be there to help. Thanks for watching and good luck.